Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. Today, I'm taking you through some of the preparation that I go through before a tournament. All right, if you guys are brand new to the channel, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, let's talk about a couple things that I do and what I recommend to everyone uh, to do in preparation for a tournament. Real quick, I forgot to mention, if you want to see an in the bag video of what I've been carrying this year and, the, and some of the molds that I've been working with for the last couple years, make sure you like this video so that I know you guys want to see that. You know, in the bags are always fun to watch and do, so let me know if you guys want to know what I'm throwing this 2020 season and definitely into 2021. Alrighty, let's get started. Obviously, disc golf bag, super vital to playing disc golf. Uh, and discs as well, but it's more what's in the bag. I don't even mean discs that helps determine a golfer's success So one of the things that I always carry even in practice rounds I always have my water with ice because uh, it'll slowly melt throughout the round just because it's so hot here And I always have a, a body armor. I've started carrying the smaller body armors and uh, this is the low body armor light low calorie watermelon um, body armor I'm definitely accepting sponsorships so uh, you can reach out to me but um, I always carry those um, the water obviously to stay hydrated and body armors I like more than Gatorades way less sugar way fewer calories and to me they honestly taste a whole lot better especially the light ones that watermelon tastes like watermelon Jolly Rancher and it's only like four grams of sugar for the entire bottle so super super tasty stuff but it helps me stay replenished throughout the round and I just take a few sips here and there and I just like to stay hydrated throughout the round the important thing is that you start getting hydrated before the round um, the other things I like to carry in my bag obviously towels so I got this sort of smaller towel that I like to use mainly for my hands and the bigger towel for the discs any mud or big chunks of dirt that may come up um, and this side pocket right here I have a bunch of spare extra towels as well so even on a hot summer day like it's probably going to be this Saturday I always come loaded with towels because you never know if there's a if it has rained the night before and there's a puddle or just some extra dirt on it or if it goes in the creek whatever it is I don't like to be caught unprepared at a tournament so I always make sure I have plenty plenty of towels that's the one thing I do not want to run out of. I like to have a couple snacks with me as well. Um, I've started car carrying Big League Chew, some pretty good stuff. I uh, used to uh, not have it a lot as a kid, but uh, I always enjoyed it, so I picked some up recently. I've been enjoying it. Sunflower seeds, just great to snack on. I've been carrying a lot of trail mix, and I've slowly worked this bag down. And then uh, granola bar. I like to have a variety. Sometimes I'll even bring beef jerky with me. Um, I like having a variety of things between sweet and salty, sometimes depending on what I'm feeling and also depending on the temperature. That's mainly what I carry in the top pocket. The other thing I carry is a little chalk bag and I feel like I could use this just making this video. I'm already sweating being out here for like three minutes. Um, I have had those like specific disc golf dirt bags and I liked them but I just felt like they never lasted long enough or they didn't get enough dirt or chalk on my hand. and. I went to Walmart and then the exercise section, there's a three pack of the chalk for like weightlifters and it comes in three little balls like this and it was like eight bucks for a pack of three and I got it and it's the greatest thing ever. My hand is never uh, wet. So super good to have that in this little pocket here where it stays and it doesn't get on the rest of my stuff. So really easy to access and use. The other thing I like to do that I've recently been doing is uh, actually wearing this little gator. And one thing that I did in the recent tournament was play with this mask on. And initially that was for COVID protection. And then I realized just how cool it kept me during the round. And so I'm planning on wearing these a lot more in hot rounds, especially for tournaments, because I don't want to get um, sunburned and heat exhausted. That's the worst thing to happen in a tournament. And so that's really basically it with what I carry that's super important. Um, 
obviously the disc, but I'm not gonna go through all the discs that I have. What I like to do to prep for the round ahead of time is spend a couple weeks if I'm able to go into the course, playing through the course, tape looking at different lines, but specifically the week of, I like to sometimes play just like a score free round in a sense where I'm not keeping track of my score and I throw multiple tee shots on the holes if I have the time because I, I want to be able to find the shot that I can best execute and have the most success with. Um, and not having that stress of the score is a great way to really learn a hole and learn a course. You wanna stay loose, you wanna stay active and ready and stay warmed up throughout the week. You don't wanna to play too many rounds during the week. I made that mistake on my first tournament of this year. I, by the time I got to the tournament round, it was just a one round flex. Um, it, had, it was my fifth or sixth round of the week. So I was playing great up until about hole 14 and then just fatigue and I couldn't hit my lines and my score went so south so fast. So definitely stay active during the week but you don't want to overdo it because then come the most important day Saturday or Saturday and Sunday depending on the kind of tournament you're playing you can find that you're going to get really fatigued while you play and you're going to lose a lot of strokes that way the other thing that you really want to work on is your mental game you want to make sure you're going into it with a positive attitude don't put too much pressure on yourself beforehand because you're already going to feel pressure when you get there um, even the most seasoned veterans feel uh, some pressure to perform when they get to a tournament and the last thing you want to do is psych yourself out before you even throw and so working on your mental game the week of is super super important and one of the ways that you can do that is just visualize yourself being successful. That's one of the most important things they teach you in sports is visualize yourself being successful. And tied in with that, a little helpful tip for just um, putting especially overall is if you haven't watched the um, Michael, Jordan, Michael Jordan's uh, 1996 Bulls documentary, uh, the Last Dance. I strongly recommend you watch it because there's a couple good lines in there about how to be successful. And one thing that stood out to me and stood out to some of my friends who play disc golf that watched that documentary is when Michael Jordan talks about why would I think about missing a shot I haven't taken yet. And I think that really applies to disc golfers as well, especially on the putting green. Sometimes we get so caught up in, okay, if I miss, I wanna miss it this way. We haven't even putted yet. Why are we going to think about missing a putt that we haven't even made yet? Or that we haven't even attempted yet? And so that's one thing that I personally need to work on a lot this week and just getting my mental game, committing to my putts, and don't think about missing because I haven't even taken the putt yet. Just think about making it and my uh, percentage is going to go way up. So that's the biggest thing is being positive and getting those practice rounds in and making sure that you're prepared. You do not want to be packing your bag and everything the morning of, um, especially because a lot of times the check-ins are anywhere between seven and 8.30 um, if it's starting later, but a lot of rounds start by eight or 8.30, so check-in can be like between seven and eight. That means you have to wake up early as it is and you do not want to deal with the thought of making sure you make it on time to warm up and forgetting something because especially if you're traveling a long ways if you forget something you're lost like you can, you don't have time to go back and get it so it's super important that you pack the night before make sure you have everything laid out so you can just wake up and be ready ready the other thing i like to do is i'm kind of an early riser as it is and so one of the biggest things i do is get to a field somewhere or another local course and i throw and i warm up I do not get to the course I'm playing at and try to warm up there for a couple reasons. First off, I, I, my anxiety is going to go up a little bit. That competitive nature is going to go up a little bit. As I'm warming up, I'm going to feel like I, every warm-up shot has to be great. And so I just don't want to get in that mindset yet during warm-ups. I want to feel comfortable and get nice and loose. So I like to show up to a local field and just be calm and throw. And <clears throat> I try and get there about an hour before I want to go check in. So if I wanna check in at 7.30, I'll try to get there at six or 6.30. That way, I can just warm up. The other reason I don't go to the course is because it's going to be so busy as people continue to show up and there's distractions and there's talking. I just wanna be able to focus, get in the zone, and, tr and be as confident as I possibly can about how my round's going to go. Visualize certain shots, practice certain shots, and just get ready for the day. Um, not being in that tournament environment um, until it's time to play 
I found has really helped me stay focused. I'm not suffering from that fatigue and it just it has really helped me with my scores over the last couple tournaments. And so that's one of the biggest things that I would recommend is when you guys are going out and playing, be prepped the night before and get somewhere early so that you can warm up at your own pace, drink some coffee, whatever it is. It's super important that you think ahead and that you prepare and that you're ready. Obviously, if you signed up for a tournament last minute, that might change some things, but if you've signed up weeks in advance, you wanna take every opportunity you can to be prepared. And that means playing the course, knowing everything that's in your bag, packing the night before, and getting somewhere early to warm up. Those are super important things to help you be successful. But the number one thing to be successful on tournament day is to have fun guys okay even for the pros they got it they have fun too and that's just really really important um, to just enjoy what we're doing and sort of live in the moment of the disc golf tournament because they can go by so fast and by the time you're finishing up round two on a Saturday or the third round on a Sunday it's like I, I can't believe it's already over and so have fun with it enjoy it play your best you know be positive with your card mates, encourage them, um, celebrate their successful shots and putts because when other people are playing well, you're going to play well. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope this little video on tournament prep was super helpful, especially for those of you who are looking to play your first couple tournaments. Um, always have fun guys with it don't stress yourself out too much there's already going to be that added pressure from your surroundings you don't need that inward pressure okay that's all for today guys i hope you found this video super helpful if you did make sure that you like subscribe and hit that notification bell and until next time guys have a great round